Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to see how to print this parallelogram pattern using python. Okay before writing code it's really important for us to analyze the figure and then we can start coding. And also please watch this video till the end don't skip to the coding part you won't be able to understand anything. Okay in this figure you can see uh, the indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 4. So that means this figure contains 5 rows. And also at 0 row it is having some amount of white space and then we have stars and as the rows increases the white space are decreasing and uh, uh, the stars are remaining constant but they are in a parallelogram shape. Okay, So let's see how to print this pattern in python. Okay, So here I am in Jupyter notebook and let me initialize a variable called row and let me take the input from the user. Okay, So row equals input enter the number of rows okay so if we just leave it like this the input will be in the string we need to convert it into integer type so for that i'll just give int in in front of input and i'll place this input function inside int okay so that's this is how you take input if uh, the input is integer type okay so now that i have initialized a variable called row uh, it's time for me to take a for loop for i in range of row so here you need to understand the range function if you don't give any uh, start value by default it's going to take uh, uh, take the start value as 0 and it's going to end at row minus 1 so it's going to print uh, if the user gives row as 5 it's going to print 0 1 2 3 and 4 if uh, user gives row equals 5 so let's see what it is going to print Okay, I'll just print i. Print i. So I'm going to give 5. Uh, there you can see uh, this thing, uh, the start value is 0 and it is ending at 4. So if you don't want it to start at 0, you, uh, what you can do is you can give start value as 1. And if you want it to end at 5, what you can do is row plus 1. So let's see what it is going to print. I will give 5 and you can see uh, the start value is 1 and it is ending at 5. Okay, I am not going to do this. I will just leave it default. I am going to give start value as 0 and I'll, I want it to end at row minus 1. So, 5. Okay, start value is 0 and it is ending at 4. So, let us uh, try to print this pattern. Okay, so here uh, at 0 through it is having some amount of white space and then we are printing stars. So, uh, as the rows are increasing the uh, white spaces are decreasing the stars are remaining constant but they are in parallelogram fashion okay so what i'll do is first i need to print before printing stars i need to print white star uh, white space i'll gonna multiply it by row minus i i'll explain you this okay if the user enters row equals 5 and initially i value at the first iteration the i value will be 0 so row minus row minus i that will be 5 minus 0 initially it's going to be 5 and then the at second iteration the i value will change so i will be 1 and 5 minus 1 equals 4 and it's gonna continue like that okay so now that i have printed the white space it is uh, it's time for me to print stars okay i'm gonna concat it with stars so here uh, this first star is for multiplication uh, sorry uh, printing and the second star is for multiplication i need to print stars how many times so here i have one two three four five six six stars so what i'm going to do is i just want six stars in each row right i'm not going to decrease it i'll just give row plus one now the coding part is over let's execute this and let's see how it is going to print it's not gonna be that uh, nicer uh, we, what we can, uh, what we'll do is we'll first execute it uh, uh, execute this program and then we'll see uh, what ad adjustment we can do so i'll just give row as five okay uh, this is in parallelogram shape but it is not that good what we can do is we can just give us white space over here and let's print this one more time there you have it this is how we print parallelogram shaped pattern. 
i hope you guys learned something new if you like this type of content consider subscribing and please like this video if you like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video until next time take care